Hey guys, Justin here. Uh, I'm about to show you the video of what footage I do have from these past two and a half weeks. Uh, it's not a real lot. I don't have a real lot like last time here. Uh, but check out the footage and stay tuned to the end for the recap of what I picked up. See you in a minute. $30 find at Goodwill. Get it to focus. Anyway. Uh, power on. Got a green light. So that's good. Good sign. Drawer opens. It's a good sign. Usually these are dead with the drawers. $30 chance. I think I'll take a chance. Two controllers, $30, get all the cords. <sighs> I guess we'll see. Well, one little saver is fine. $4.99, PS2 Slim. Everything looks to be good on it. No wires, but five bucks. Why not? my friends out there in the world of the internet um, I haven't done anything like this uh, in a while because I haven't really gone anywhere to really hunt um, I uh, just stopped off at Savers and um, I'm on my way to another place I haven't been to since maybe November October um, but I got a, uh, a Nintendo DS for six bucks it looks really clean really nice um, it is dead so I gotta go home and charge and make sure it works um, but aside from that I'm going to a place like I just said I haven't been to in a while um, you've seen it before they charge like two bucks for all their games and uh, so far every time I've gone um, I've come out with some nice treasures so um, I'm heading there now uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some footage and uh, we'll see what I get and the recap see you soon
Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, hope you liked the video. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff, well, not really a bunch of stuff. i got stuff here to show off. Um, nothing really crazy. Um, no huge scores. A uh, couple decent deals. Um, just a first thing. Um, if you guys saw my the video I put up a couple days ago about the video game monthly box, um, you saw that it was pretty much garbage for the price that I had to pay for it, which is 35 bucks shipped. Now, I'm not trying to bash the company. Um, I know what it is when you get into it. But for the value that they're handing out uh, for what you pay for it, you should get better quality items um, and not dollar games across the board. Um, my best game in that box was a Super Mario World, which I have here in my hand. But look at how trashed this is. Um, it looks like somebody tried to peel the label off. Um, I understand that the it, that it says that condition can vary, um, but stuff like this shouldn't be considered your best game in the box. Um, I haven't even tested it yet. I'm going to end up probably throwing it together with the other Super Nintendo I have, um, just as kind of like an add-on um, to help sell it, because uh, I have no reason to keep this, because I already have it. Um, but I was kind of disappointed. I can't say kind of. I was very disappointed, and I already canceled my subscription. I figure 35 bucks can go a lot farther doing everything else. Um, so without further ado, um, my pickups. Um, first, a non-video game pick pickup. I saw this. Um, it's still sealed. I had to grab it for a dollar. I don't collect VHS tapes, um, so I will probably end up flipping this. This is a fantastic movie. Um, or maybe I'll save it if I ever meet Kevin Conroy again. Um, Batman Mac, Mac, yeah. Mask of the Phantasm. Um, still sealed. That's the only part right there that's ripped, but it's still sealed. I don't know if you can see, there's kind of a bump back there. Uh, there's a comic book in here. Um, so that's kind of cool too. Uh, if you see the original price was $17.99 at, uh, at Leechmere. Leechmere does not exist anymore, so... But for a dollar, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, not to pass up. Um, I'll try, let's see. I don't even know what to show off first. Uh, I'll show off this junk first. Um, my savers um, at the very beginning of the year, why is it sticking together? Uh, was having a video game sale. Um, I just totally pulled the sticker off the front of that. <laughs> uh, well, not just a video game sale. They were having a media sale. All their media was uh, 99 cents, no matter what it was. Um, so I went in and the only things that weren't 99 cents is if they put it out that day. And, uh, I grabbed a couple GameCube sports games, basically got them for 50 cents a piece because they put them together in lots of two. And then it was just 50 cents, uh, uh, I'm sorry, 99 cents for the, for the packages. So I got, um, Chris Miller, if you need any of these for your collection, let me know. Or if anybody's interested in these, let me know. Um, I'm not really planning on keeping any of these. I just got them because for 50 cents a game for GameCube games, why not? Um, eh, I don't even, what is this? Uh, Major League Baseball 2K6 with Derek Jeter on front. Uh, MVP Baseball 2005 with Manny Ramirez, who just signed with a team in Japan at the age of 44, by the way. Um, Madden 06 with Donovan McNabb. And uh, NBA Live 2005. They are all complete. They're all in very nice condition. Um, so I said for like 50 cents a piece. I'll pick up sports games for 50 cents a piece. Why not? Uh, let's see. No real order to this. So um, I didn't get this on footage because this was kind of a random buy at the time. I uh, walked into Best Buy. They were having video game sales I look at every week. And this was on the shelf for 1999. Um, I like going in there because they price match Amazon. So I pulled up Amazon um, and found out this was on Amazon for like eleven forty seven. Really odd number, but they price matched it. So I got this for about twelve bucks. Um, I've heard good things about it, uh, but I have a ton of other games I'm playing right now on um, my PS4. Um, my wife just got me uh, Life is Strange on the PS4 from the library because um, my Library rents video games for free, by the way. So that's cool. Um, so I got to give that a shot um, before I have to return it. Uh, I've been playing Mad Max because I finally picked that up again, which I should have in this video, but it's sitting over there. But anyway, I picked up Mad Max on PS4 too. Yay! 
great game. Uh, if you haven't played it, I think it's very underrated. Um, it's a big sandbox game where you can rebuild your car and everything. But anyway, um, and I also started Skyrim, uh, which is a life sucker video game. But I like it. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just something that you have to put a lot of time into. Um, anyway, um, the next lot of games is a bunch of these games a friend gave to me. Um, because GameStop was going to give her like five bucks for them. Um, she worked with me for a little, quite a while and then ended up not showing up to work anymore and no longer works with us. She left these behind. She said I could have them if I ever see her again. I'm probably going to give her a couple bucks for them because, you know, that's just how it goes. Um, anyway, uh, so without further ado on that, oh Jesus. Um, the games were Call of Duty Ghosts. I believe this was missing a disc. This is missing disc one. So this is kind of useless. Um, this is only disc two, the install disc. Um, Final Fantasy 13. That one's complete. Prince of Persia. Um, if you didn't notice, these are all 360 games, by the way. Uh, Batman Arkham City, uh, which I have on the PS3. This is missing a disc too, but I think this is just missing the, uh, the Harley Quinn, um, no, this is missing the year one movie. That's the only thing that's missing out of that. So not a big deal. Uh, and this one's a nice recouper. Um, it has the map in it, uh, in the booklet and everything, and it's really nice condition, uh, Red Dead Redemption. Um, so that one's nice, uh, for a good recoup, re good flipper. Um, they go for about... 12 to 15 bucks, I think. Um, so to kind of piggyback on that, um, I grabbed these at Savers the day before their sale. Um, well, two of these the day before the sale and one of the day of the sale. Um, I grabbed this because this is still a good recouper. Black, uh, it's Call of Duty Black Ops and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. They were together. The cool thing about Modern Warfare 2 is there's two copies of the, two copies of the disc. Uh, one of them's a little scratched, but I think the other one was really nice and clean. Yeah, the other one's nice and clean. So maybe the scratched one didn't work. Um, but hey, why not? Um, and then the day of the sale, where I got those other games for a dollar, I also picked this up for a dollar. Uh, they had it behind the case for, you probably saw in the video, I think it was $7.99. Uh, I asked the manager and he said, yep, it's a dollar. So Red Dead Redemption. So just so I don't think I'm trying to show you this one toy at once. Two copies. Um, for a dollar, uh, I might end up keeping one and selling the other. I don't know yet. Um, and then, um, you guys saw that place I went to that I hadn't been to in quite a while. Um, they hadn't really had any great games this time, which kind of sucked. Um, I put back a copy of Resident Evil disc only because the back of it looked like it had already been resurfaced. Um, so it kind of... You know, I passed it up only for $2 because I already have it, and it's not a good recouper um, by itself. Uh, but what I did grab was a uh, Nintendo DS carrying case for a dollar. Um, this one does play. There was some smudge on this. Smudge. There was some crap on the back of it, and there's a little sticker on the front I still got to peel off. But Street Fighter Alpha. Uh, this is... Um, Warriors Dreams. This was a long box uh, game. So if anybody has a box for that, let me know. Um, then I got two uh, Game Boy Advance games, which they both will be for sale because I don't collect these and I don't play them. Um, this one uh, used to be a higher cost, but now it's gone only down to like six or seven bucks. Uh, it's Pokemon. I don't know what the hell does it say? Red Rescue Team. Um... And this one um, is a pretty good one. This is not the price I paid for it. I paid three bucks a piece for these. Uh, Final Fantasy 1 and 2 Dawn of Souls. So somebody had paid $14.99 for that at one point. I gotta get the sticker off of that. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, I also picked up for two bucks a piece um, for my PSP, my little PSP collection. I don't really know if I call it a collection, but it's. I seem to be picking these up at a rate that I never really thought I would have. Um. But for two bucks a piece, I'll pick up almost any game to try it because it's going to cost you more to get it shipped to me on eBay. Uh, but the two are Metal Gear Solid uh, Portable Ops. I don't know anything about this game, but I was a fan of Metal Gear Solid, so we'll see if that's any good. 
Um, and that one is complete, by the way. It has the booklet, game, all that fun stuff. Um, and the other game I got there was Tokobot. It kind of looked like a cute little fun game. Um, it's cart only, disc only, whatever you want to call these. There's no booklet to it, but for two bucks, I figured, what the heck. Um, so that's it for games. Um, just today, a couple, uh, not even a couple hours ago, um, I picked this up. I paid two ninety nine for it, um, but I figured I can always put this with the game because I do have the game on the PSP. Um, is Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories? Uh, if you see the original price tag from Best Buy, it was fifteen ninety nine. Um, I don't know if this was donated via Best Buy or if somebody bought this and then ended up tossing it. Um, but hey, why not? For three bucks, at least I can get a little bit of fun out of it. Um, and down to the last couple things. Uh, trying to get myself organized here. You guys already saw this in the video. Um, I did power it on. I didn't power it on at the time. Um, but if you can hear the sound, you know it's a Nintendo DS. It's a metallic pink. It's very clean. Um, it works great. I, uh, it was actually already factory restored because I had to actually turn it on and put in the date and everything. Um, it has the the little cover, which these get lost a lot. Um, this thing's in really nice condition, uh, by the way. Um, and this will be for sale because I have another one that I picked up quite a while ago, you guys remember. Um, it cleaned up really nice, so if anybody's interested in this, let me know. Um, otherwise it's going to go on eBay this week. Um, and my last two things, uh, they're both systems. One's from Savers, one's from Goodwill. Um, and I just realized there's another game I got with this, um, that is downstairs, but I'm not going to grab it. But, uh, I got a PS2 Slim for $4.99, no wires or anything. I already tested it out, it works. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do have a set of wires for this downstairs, so this one will be for sale because uh, I have a white one that I'm keeping. Um, I did find one of the game with it, um, which you saw in the video was uh, Crash Bandicoot 2 um, for the PS1. So I got that for a dollar too. Um, that will be for sale because I already had it. Um, but funnily enough, uh, they're both disc only. Uh, so if anybody has a booklet or case for it, uh, box art, let me know because I am looking for it. Um, my last pickup, you guys saw in the video, um, I got an Xbox 360. Um, the two controllers, it works great. I've tested it twice. I tested it when I got it home. I tested it at the store. Uh, the cool part was in the video you saw it was $29.99. Uh, sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. Um, it was twenty nine ninety nine, um, but uh, a buddy of mine that uh, I do a lot of this stuff with, you've seen him in one of my other videos uh, quite a while ago over the summer, um, he had a friend there that gets everything at Goodwill 50% off, so we gave it to her, and I ended up getting it for 20 bucks because he gave her an extra 5 bucks for you know doing it for him and saying thank you. Which I'm alright with, because an Xbox 360 with two controllers for 20 bucks uh, that works perfectly, as I could tell so far. I haven't actually game tested it yet. Um, I'll take that. Why not? Because I know if I ever wanted to sell it, I should be able to get at least 40 bucks out of it. Because um, the last one I had that you guys saw quite a while ago, uh, I paid 27 for with one controller. Um, and I had to fight to get them to work, because I had... Two of them uh, from Savers, and only one of them worked. Uh, and I ended up selling it just because I didn't want to deal with it. And uh, a friend of mine said that these will eventually fail no matter what. Um, just because of the interiors they used were very cheap. Um, but that's it. That's all I got um, for this time frame. Um, of what, two and a half weeks, give or take. This Sunday, hopefully, knock on wood... Um, I'm going to go to a flea market, the random flea market, which is indoor, partially outdoor. I couldn't go last Sunday because we got about a foot of snow here on Saturday. Um, and they, they might have been there on Sunday, but it was just too much of a pain for me to get anywhere. Because they hadn't plowed the roads or anything yet, so I wasn't going to fight it. Um, but with that being said, hopefully I'll get some footage, hopefully I'll find stuff I always seem to. Whether it's savers, goodwill, let go, offer up. Damn, sorry, excuse me. Um, 
I'll find something to show you guys. Uh, and also, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers since the last video. Um, I'm up to 440 um, as of today, I think, yeah. And yes, I know, guys, I do, do apologize. I'm slacking really bad on the uh, contest. Um, at this point, I might just wait till I hit 500 and um, give out a good little prize package. Um, because, I mean, we're not that far off, and hopefully I'll meet it pretty quick. And that way I'll be able to actually get a nice little um, bunch together. Maybe I'll even put up a video for it ahead of time, and then once we hit 500, we'll, we'll do the contest. Um, but that's about it. So, I like, like I said, I'd like to thank everybody. My new subscribers, my old subscribers, you guys are great. I love conversing with you. I like, uh, you know, when you guys interact with me, you know, good, bad, whatever. Um, um... But with that being said, if you saw anything here, let me know if you're interested in anything. Um, there's only a few things I'm keeping, like uh, my PS4 games and uh, probably the Street Fighter Alpha, um, because I, I'm a sucker for PS1 games. Um, so, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, um, and I'll see you guys next time around. Alright? Peace.